Robert Yakko has already won $13,500. He is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint today on Scrabble. A ten-letter word. The clue is some guys go there with their partners. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Charlie. Tune in and welcome to the Scrabble. It's the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home view award was sent in. Bob Carey uh, sent that in. He's from uh, Sarina. Where is that? Sarnia. Sarnia. That's right. Sarnia, Ontario. I know where that is. It's in Canada. Uh, today, the jackpot in our bonus print stands at $5,000. Winner's going to get a chance that later on. And Charlie has our first two players. Charlie. She's a recent Harvard grad. He's our champion. Originally from Rochester, New York, Joanne Lishman. And originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Robert Yakko. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Joanne? Hi, I'm you? fine, thanks. Good, tell me about yourself. I'm an attorney specializing in environmental law, and I couldn't think of a better place to be than L.A. Now, wait a minute. You went to Harvard? <laughs> yeah. And you graduated law school, Harvard? Right. And you went into environmental law? Yeah. I thought you guys went for the big bucks. I mean, just uh, there can't be a whole lot of dough in environmental law, is there? You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> One for Joanne. <laughs> it's nice to have you here, Joanne. Good Thank luck you. to you. Thank Hi, Robert. You. Hi there. Robert is our champion. He stands $13,500. Got his pockets full. You're doing fine. Tell us about yourself, Robert. Well, um, boy, it's great to be back. I'm, I'm a rich singer now from Philadelphia. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, boy, I don't know anything else about myself at this point. It's, well, it's, it's pretty man. exciting to win that money. All right. Listen, Joanne, you're the challenger. You're going to go first. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. Have a chance at the bonus sprint. It's a possible $5,000 this time. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter. Let me get this straight here. We're building on the letter S. Nine letters in the word. And the clue is some of them can keep a woman up all night. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares because they're worth money. Some of them can keep a woman up all night. Okay. I'll take the nine. <clears throat> And the five. D or an I? <clears throat> Place the D, please. First position in the word, $500. Some of them can keep a woman up all night. Hmm, don't know it yet. Place the I. Take two more tiles. The four and the 10, please. E or an N. Place the N. And the E. Some of them can keep a woman up all night. Two more tiles. Take the three and the two. S or an O. Place the O, please. And the S. <laughs> Some of them can keep a woman up all night. Decisions. Yes, that's it. You got it. Well, you just went right through that one, didn't you? No mistakes. One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. There you go. All right, Robert. Building on the letter E in decisions. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is. Oh, gee. he has more brains than most men. Hmm. All right, sounds intriguing. I'll take the seven and the nine. A uh, and R. Place the R, please. He has more brains than most men? That's correct. Place the A. That's a stop. Ouch. Ouch. He has more brains than most men. Okay, take the eight and the two. K or an H? Place the H, please. Don't know it yet. And the K? Robert. Robert, he has more brains than most men. All right. Well, I'm not quite sure, so I'll take the one and the five. W or a C? Um, the W, please. That's it. Glenn, you know what it is? 
I don't. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. The last letter is up to you. He has more brains than most men. Ready? Go. Robert. Butcher. Butcher is exactly right. Yeah. It's all tied up building on the letter T in butcher. Joanne, nine letters in the word. The clue is, it has a high price tag. It has a high price tag. Give you $1,000 if you can tell me what it is right now. It has a high price tag. Uh, you don't know how much I wish you could. Uh, take the seven and the two. E or an S? Place the S, please. And the E? It has a high okay. price tag. I am bedazzled, befuddled. Hmm. I will take the three and the six. At least you're not bewitched and bewildered, are you? <laughs> I was getting to that. P or uh, S? Place, can you repeat the clue? I'm sorry. Yes, it has a high price tag. Place the P, please. And the S? No. Stop her. Robert? Mm, I'll have to take uh, the four. And the one. Y and an N. At the N, please. And uh, the clue again. It has a high price tag. And the Y, please. Well, look at Joanne's smile. She knows what it is, don't you? you There's wanna, no more money up there. You want to tell me what it is? Penthouse. Penthouse has a high price tag. You thought for sure that was gone, didn't you? I, for sure. <laughs> Did that bell mean we've got to go on? Is that right? Did I hear that, or was it just kind of a little mistake? Oh, it's real? Speed word? Okay, I've already given you all your instructions. Here we go. Robert's trying to tie it up. Joanne's going for the game. Building on the letter S in Penthouse, five letters in the word. The clue is they're famous sneakers. Ready? Go. They're famous sneakers. Robert. Ah. Uh, I thought it was Robert, something else. you're out of it. Joanne, you're all on your own. They're famous sneakers. Ready? Go. Spies. What? Spies. Spies. Exactly right. One, two, three. Well, you tried. You tried to do it. Can't be Well, I tell you what, yesterday, though, made up for an awful lot. $13,500. I mean, you had a great run here. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Good luck to you. Enjoyed having you. Joanne is up to $1,000. She's on her way. She's going to play Scrabble Sprint right after this. We'll be back to watch it. See you. Good for you, Joanne. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Lurie. Joanne and I were just discussing her last name spelling and phoneticism here. Lishman is her last name. She has $1,000, and she's going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword is going to come up here and try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. No stoppers. All the letters are good. Okay? Okay. Good luck. First word has five letters. The capital of Mexico. The capital of Mexico. Ready? Are you, are you ready? Ready. <laughs> Go. P. S. E. The capital of Mexico. S. Pesos. That's right, it is pesos. Capital as in money. Oh, there's one person applauding. We have no idea. Was it Charlie Thanks, Tuna? Guys. Thank you, Charlie. How nice of you to do that. I paid him, too. Second word, six letters. He gave people a ticket to ride. He gave people a ticket to ride. Ready? Ready. Go. Y, N, D. He gave people a ticket to ride. S, Disney. Yes. Third word has eight letters. They like carrots. They like carrots. Ready? Ready. Go. W, L, E. They like carrots. S, R, J. They like carrots. Jewelers. Yes, a little quicker on your answer, you know, because they'll buzz you if you don't do it. Last word, nine letters. A civilized approach. 
are you laughing? A civilized approach. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm smiling because every, all of a sudden everybody applauded on the okay. last one. I couldn't figure it out. A civilized approach. A Ready? A civilized approach. Ready. Go. K. A. D. A civilized approach. E. H. Handshake. Yes, 32.3. Well, Julie's a little slow. I'm just trying to think. Uh, pesos kind of caught you up, but that could that could work on somebody else. Jewelers, unfortunately, you passed that J up like about three selections back, and I would have given it to you right away. Yeah. Okay. Had you picked it, but we'll find out. Uh, 32.3. See if it works right after this. Here we go. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, well, of course you picked it. Yeah. Well, obviously, you did. Well, you were Joanne is our champion. What? Nothing. What? What? It's private. Oh, okay. Very private. We have two new contestants, and Charlie's got them. Charlie? <laughs> She's a skater. He's a vocalist. Originally from Des Moines, Iowa, Tara Thompson. And originally from New York City, Dino Bennett. All right, nice to have you both here. Is it Tierra or Tara? Tara. Tara. Yeah. How are you, Tara? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, tell me about yourself. I used to be a competitive roller skater. I started skating when I was four years old. Really? And I skated until I was 19. And then I moved out here to Los Angeles, California, got married, and now I have a beautiful four-month-old baby boy. Oh, isn't that sweet? How nice. Yeah, congratulations. Now, let me ask you about your skating. Did you do this in a circle, or was it kind of like... Well, you know what Dorothy Hamill does on ice oh, skates? Well, it's yeah, the same thing, but it's roller skating. It's not fast. No, fast it's not speed stuff. skating. Speed skating, yeah. Right. Nice to have you here, Tara. Thanks. Good luck to you. Hi, Dino. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. Well, yes. Chuck, I'd like to tell you a little about myself and a song I've written. My life is just like a Scrabble game. I fill in the pieces and give it a name. I shape it and mold it and make it fit. And I shall never quit. I'll Scrabble for life. I'll never give up for the rest of my life. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, well, there's got to be a tag here someplace. That's great, Dino. I heard that as a rap song only last week on MTV. <laughs> I stole it, Chuck. It's nice to have you here. Who won Thank the you. toss? I did. Let's go to the board. Here we go. Building on the letter A, nine letters in the word. The clue is her name has a certain ring to it. Her name has a certain ring to it, Dino. Take a couple of tiles okay, there. Okay, so I'm going to take tile number one and tile number six. N or an R? I'll take the N. Okay, Chuck, I have no idea. Would you please give me that R? Her name has a certain ring to it. Tara? I'll take the 11 and the 10. L and an N. The N and the L. Her name has a certain ring to it. I'm going to have to take two more. I'll take the 7 and the 9. B or an L? The L. It's worth $500. Her name has a certain ring to it, is the clue. I'm going to guess. Annabelle? That's right. It's Annabelle. Yes. She made no mistakes. One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Okay, Dino. What do you do, Dino? Do you, are you a singer by trade? No, I'm a diesel mechanic by trade, Chuck. Oh. <laughs> I'll take... Tile number five and tile number two. Yeah, I gotta read you the clue and stuff. <laughs> I gotta, you, gotta, you got just a little ahead of me there. I, I think I broke your rhythm with that question. I now. think you did. Building on the letter E in Annabelle, there are seven letters in this word, and the clue is what you rarely see in politics. Now let's reveal what, what those letters are in, in politics. politics. What are the letters that he, uh, computer, talk to me? As a B? And an S. Well, I didn't. I just asked for the letters, not a social comment, if you don't mind. What you rarely see in politics, do you know? Okay, Chuck, let's start out with the S. Okay, I don't know it. Place to be, please. No, that's a stopper. Tara? I'll take the nine and the six. S and a U. The S? And the U? What you rarely see in politics for $500. Resumes? 
No, no, that's not correct. You want to take a guess at this, Dino, for $500? No, I think we'll play Speedway, huh? Well, no, actually, you can just continue and take a couple more times. Can I? Okay. Well, that's all right. It's a little confusing right now. Go ahead. Okay. Take a couple of times. I'll take the three and the one. A or a T? Uh, place the T, please. What you rarely see in politics, Dino. Okay, I don't know it. Let me have the A. That's a stopper. Only one stopper left, Tara. I don't know yeah. it either, so I'm going to have to take the four and the eight. R and an L. I'll take the R. Results. Probably gave it to you right away there, yeah. A little tough about that first letter. Two to zip. That bell means we're out of time. Are you kidding already? Yep. Well, okay. Uh, hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's speed word Dino, right down your alley. It's two to, uh, two to zip, so good luck to you. Building on the letter T and results, eight letters in the word. The clue is, he's not a loner. Ready? Go. He's not a loner. Tightwad? Tightwad, exactly right. You got it. Uh, at least you got to sing the song. I did good. Thanks for coming on. Sure, you know, you, we have a gift. What is this gift? A toaster oven? Is that it? Charlie's going to show us this baby. Dino, for you, DeLonghi puts baking and broiling at your fingertips. Perfect for that quick snack or a complete meal. And so portable, it's great in the kitchen or near the table for keeping food warm. Furnished by DeLonghi. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We enjoyed having you on the show. Thank you, Thank you Dino. Thank you. So just stay right there. You don't have to go any place. We'll do the going away. And Tara's got the... Uh, Championship right here for this game, thousand dollars. She's gonna come back and play Scrabble Scrum right after this. Stay with me. Good to you, kiddo. Well, that is happy. And now back to Scrabble and Chuck Lurie. Joanne Lishman has $1,000, 32.3 seconds is the time to beat, and Tara Thompson's going to try to do that with $1,000. She's going to do this for another 1000 possible 5000 Sounds like fun, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock, and no stoppers. All the letters you see are good. First word has five letters. The capital of Mexico. The capital of Mexico. Ready? Ready. Go. The P. S. The capital of Mexico. O. E. Pesos? Yes, pesos. You know, capital like in money. Pesos. I didn't tell you just to blind it. Okay. Second word, six letters. He gave people a ticket to ride. He gave people a ticket to ride. Ready? Ready. Go. Y. E. S. He gave people a ticket to ride. N. Disney? Yes. The third word has eight letters. They like carrots. They like carrots. Ready? Ready. Go. W. S. L. They like carrots. E. R. Jewelers. That's correct. 8.4 seconds left for the last word. It has nine letters. A civilized approach. A civilized approach. Ready? Ready. Go. K. N. S. A civilized approach. D. H. You know what it is? Handshake. Handshake. You're just one tenth of a second behind. Well, Joanne, you got it, kiddo. She's got a thousand dollars. She's up to two thousand. Tara has a thousand, and uh, we're going to say goodbye to you. Thanks for playing the game. We enjoyed having you. Uh, Joanne will be back in just a minute. We're going to play for five thousand dollars in that bonus. Let's watch and see how she does. Here we go. And now, back to Chuck Lorre and today's winner. Dwayne Lishman has uh, $2,000. This is for five. Got to work hard to get this, kiddo. I know. Two words under 10 seconds. You can do it, though. You're all settled in now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Take a look. All right. First word, six letters. New York's is concrete. New York's is concrete. New York's is concrete. New York's is concrete. Ready? <laughs> Ready. Go. J. 
G. New York's is concrete. L. N. Jungle. Yeah, quickly. Get those answers out quickly once you hit the bell. bell, bell. Okay. 3.3 seconds. Oh, if you can follow, if you can follow, you can get this off the clue. Seven letters. Old sailing ships are found there. Old sailing ships are found there. Ready? Ready. Go. L. T. You needed the B. The B is the first letter. You needed mm. the B. Do you know oh. what it is? Bottles. Yeah, you had to have that B. Unfortunately, it just oh, didn't well. come up. But you got next uh, time. <laughs> uh, you got two thousand dollars. Going to come back. The bonus will be up to six thousand dollars. That's all the time we have for today. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody. Come on, please. Starring Chet Lowry is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Michael Keaton, Christopher Lloyd, and Peter Boyle are out of their minds in the totally mental comedy The Dream Team. Don't miss the USA movie tonight at 9. Now, stay tuned for MacGyver after this USA update next. Scrabble is a Red's Grundy production.